Alright guys, so after many sleepless nights, we finally have the perfect Android app developed. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out how to get this on the Google Play Store so we can start making millions of dollars. Now, the process is actually really easy. What's going to happen is Android Studio is pretty much going to take all of your files and bundle them together into something called an APK file. Now, the APK file is the thing that you put on whatever app store, probably Google Play or and or excuse me, um, Amazon also has an app store that you could put it on, but essentially that's what we need to do first. We need to pretty much export this into an APK file so we can publish it wherever we want. So the first thing that we need to do is go down to this icon at the bottom and choose build variants. So whenever we were just developing the app, what we did is we were building it in debug mode. Now that's really good for like I said developing because it shows you if you have any bugs and gives you some other cool messages but now once you're ready to actually build the final release click on this and change it to release so this is gonna say okay now when I build it I'm building the final version of this the version that other users can actually install that's what we want now let me adjust myself in my seat here All right. so from here what we do is we actually go up to build and say we want to generate a signed APK. Now I already know what APK means, it's the final version of your app, but what's a signed thing? Well here's the thing, anytime you publish an app you need to sign it and signing it, just like signing anything in real life, it just verifies your identity. So it says okay Bucky Roberts this is your app or if you're working for a company like uh, I don't know like Microsoft, Microsoft this is your app it pretty much just ties an identity along with the final build so since we don't have any keys yet and the key is just another name for your digital signature we're gonna create a new one now in order to understand what a key store path is we need to understand what a key is so like I just said all it is is your identity either your organization or your name so I'm just gonna say that um I'll just say that this app is being developed under the new Boston. Again, all you have to write is either your organization name or your first name. You don't need to fill all this other stuff out. And for the key, you can name anything you want. The, this certificate is pretty much your identity, and the alias and the password is just um, for you. It's nothing that the like the user doesn't see it on the Google Play Store or anything. So for the alias, I'm just gonna write like a release key and give it a password and for the validity it's always good to have 25 years um, don't do anything less than that actually I think Google recommends 25 years so this is pretty much setting up your identity and remember to uh, it's always a good idea to write down your password and your alias because later on if you ever want to update this app it's gonna ask for your password to verify that you are indeed the owner so if you lose this then you actually need to delete your app from the app store and republish an entirely new one so again that's why you have to set all this up so that's your key so what the heck is this key store stuff the key store is just a file that contains all of your keys all of your signatures so I know it's kinda of weird but uh... hey um, you have to yell, like yell at Google or whoever made Android Studio. So for the key store path, click this button right here. It says, where do you want to store the file that's going to hold all of your keys? Well, I already made a directory on my desktop called Final Apps. And you can name it anything you want. I'll just write like key store. And this file is encrypted. So if you were just try to look at it in Notepad or something, it would like look like weird hieroglyphics. So to unencrypt it, if you just give it a password like before, and there you go. So again, once you hit OK, it's going to create a key store path, which is a special file to hold all of your keys, and it's going to create this one key, which pretty much says, OK, you are the new Boston, and to verify that later on, this is the password that you need to give me. So hit OK, and now it automatically fills out all your stuff for you so just hit next 
and just hit OK. And uh, all right, so you're trying to build a final version. And of course, where do you want to put it? Actually, you just want to put it. No, not there by default. So I'll put it in final apps and build type release and everything else is good by default and it really doesn't matter where you put it but uh, put it somewhere that you can remember and click finish so now it's gonna start building that final APK for you and you can check the status of it down there and when it's finished it says sign APK generated successfully so I'm just gonna close that and I'll show you guys so again this is the key store file that's my special encrypted file with all of my signatures in it and this APK this is the final file that you add to the Google Play Store so later on in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to set up um, you know how to add an app to the Google Play Store how to add all your screenshots in your main icon and description and stuff like that so we now have a signed APK file we are now good to go